Osama. I say, I'm sorry, Didi brother. I'm sorry, Didi's brother. I say, I'm sorry, Didi's sister. I'm sorry, Didi's sister. I say, I'm sorry, Didi uncle. I'm sorry, Didi's uncle. I say, I'm sorry, Didi's aunt. I'm sorry, Didi's aunt. I say, I'm sorry, Didi's family. I'm sorry, Didi's family. What's going on? Here's the op rover. He's back with another video. In today's video, we have some NYC drill information. Neon is a popular YouTuber known for making controversial statements. In a recent video, he made a joke about Naughty, a popular Twitch streamer. The joke was not well received by Naughty fans, who started criticizing Neon on social media. Didi Osama is another Naughty brother, seeing the criticism Neon was receiving, I decided to assess the situation in his own video. Didi Osama called out Neon for his disrespectful behavior. Neon said he should apologize to Nadi and his fans for the hurtful comments Neon has since. Apologized for his joke but has been hurt. His reputation has been tarnished and he has lost the respect of many of his fans. Whether he recovers from the incident remains to be seen. In Listen, listen, I just want to tell you this, baby boy, like, you, like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. you, you not from the streets, baby boy. Like, mm -hmm. you, you's really, like, you's really a nerd, baby boy. You's oh. really a nerd, baby boy. I'm trying to tell you, like, look, you good? look, look, no, look, good, look, 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 I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say nothing yeah. about you, but like, you not from the streets, baby. boy. Y'all go to the side right here, y'all. So, like, y'all go right here. Y'all go to the side. So, like, come in, come in. My bad, my bad. I'm trying to tell you, why you Big not listening Sorry, my bad, my bad, I'm just nervous, Big bro. Man. I'm sorry. Good. Yo, Dion, yeah. tell, him, tell him to go in the car, bro. We're good. Tell him to go in the car, we tell him good. We good, bro, we good. I'm not going to touch him, we good, bro, we good, bro. I'm not going to touch him. Right, but you in this, you got to do that. When I'm a game, when I'm a game touching this nigga. I'm not gonna yeah, gain nothing. He's not, he's not, he's not, not doing gonna it. Yo, 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 listen, he okay. good. Listen, just, yo, woo, yo, yeah, woo. My bad, my bad. Listen. Okay. My bad, my bad. I'm just, I'm, I am i want to sincerely apologize, bro. I, you, I didn't realize I what I was saying, bro. I need you to apologize to, cause like, you know my heart, like, my mom be on the gram watching I want to apologize, I want to apologize to her too, bro. It's not, it was not right what I did, bro. You gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my every, it's not even about that even, my heart, it's just about, you're not even in the streets to be even saying my brother. It was back in the day, I didn't realize what I was doing, bro. Yo, woo. It's not even, yo, why you not paying attention so to I'm, like, I'm nervous, you know bro. You I feel right now? I feel like slapping the shit out you. I'm sorry, but bro. But I'm not, because what I'm a gain out of slapping a nigga like you. Yeah. No, what I'm a gain from that? See what I'm saying? Yeah. Brother, my heart, like, I got my son in the back of my chain, my heart. Nah, you understand I, I that? I shouldn't have played about that shit. Bro. Like, you understand that, my heart? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think you understand that. No, bro. I, I get, I get, I get it, bro. I get it. You don't get it because you wouldn't ever did in the beginning. I didn't realize back then, bro. Because I didn't realize. You what I was did because like it was my brother that died. You say if he died and it was a dance made of his death. So like you obviously knew what the naughty bop was, folks. You obviously knew what was that. So like you still did it. I, I right really now. hope you understand. I do not. I promise. You, you'll bro. see it too, bro. I promise you, I, I do, bro. You do, bro. I do. I do. I do. I generally do, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm, I got, bro, I got no problems with you. Only reason why, because you like on, like, so crazy for the net just to yeah. go viral. That's little, vi you you're just trying to go viral, woo. I understand you. You just want to go, you just want to clown and shit. I understand that. It's not, that I, shit, it's, that I, shit. I, I don't think woo. when I talk, bro. bro yeah, yeah. Start doing that. Start start thinking when you before you talk, too. Yeah. Start doing that, woo, because I used to not do that. Start doing that, bro. Well, I'm telling you, bro, I told you what I told you, bro, and now... In the video, Didi Osama begins by saying that he is a fan of Neon's work. He goes on to say that he was offended by Neon's jokes about Naughty. He says the joke wasn't funny and was disrespectful too. Naughty and his fans, Didi Osama continues Neon. He says he believes he should apologize to Naughty and his family as well as his fans, especially when in the public eye. Neon says he needs to learn to respect others. I say, I'm sorry, Didi brother. I'm sorry, Didi's brother. I say, I'm sorry, Didi sister. I'm sorry, Didi's sister. I say, I'm sorry, Didi uncle. I'm sorry, Didi's uncle. I say, I'm sorry, Didi's aunt. I'm sorry, Didi's aunt. I say, I'm sorry, Didi's family. I'm sorry, Didi's family. I love you, man. Love you too, brother. I was still right there. I was still right there. Didi Osama concludes by saying that he hopes Neon will learn from this experience and be more careful in the future. When we move on to our next topic, 
Bronx drill rapper K. Flock is currently fighting murder and other charges with all that going on. I'm still in great spirits. For those who do not know, he is a Muslim and it is currently Ramadan. You will hear him speak during his IG live. Yeah, we should be. We got 600 right now. Yo, B, it's at 700. Yo, B me trying to get up here. B me, B me. You can hear me? Yeah, that's it, Tony. I got 64 views. Now, now I got 300. 300 now. 400. Yeah, we should be. We got 600 right now. Yo, B, it's at 700. Yo, B me trying to get up here. B me, B me. K Flock talks about how he stays strong and positive during these difficult times. He says he's thankful for his fans and supporters, and he's focused on his music and his faith. He also talks about how he's looking forward to the future and he's confident he can meet the challenge. It's inspiring to see the K Flock remain positive and focused during these difficult times. He is a role model for many young people and his tenacity and determination are an example for all of us. When we move on to our next topic, Edit Baby Sistet recently came out on social media at OY Banga. She claimed that Banga was using Edit's death for clout and that he wasn't really Edit's brother. She also said that Banga's niece, who was with Edit when he passed away, left for Atlanta with all of Edit's belongings. Let's get right into it in a recent controversial situation in entertainment edit baby sister publicly called out oh why banga when edit passed away oh why banga's niece edit was with she later confessed that she escaped to atlanta with several of edit's possessions the items in question are edits coveted monkler coat belts and even his d or sandals supposedly given to her daughter Expressing disbelief and disappointment, Sister Edit criticized O.Y. Banga for what she perceived as a lack of effort to retrieve the lost items she further alleged that O.Y. Banga used her relationship with Edit for personal gain, mentioning that his niece was allegedly driving one of Edit's cars. The allegations have escalated into controversy with Edit's sister openly questioning the integrity of the actions of O.Y. Banga and his family. After Edit Baby's death, this situation deep emotions and conflicts over the loss of Edit and the custody of his object. When we move on to our next topic, Jadit Geek and Mia V have been dating for a while. However, their relationship seems to have hit a bad bump recently. They both unfollowed each other on Instagram. Jadit Geek wrote a suspicious post on his Instagram story. I think I'm into dudes, I don't know. Miavi then posted a story throwing shade at Jadit Geek. That's what happens when you're with a little kid. My bad, she said. Jadit Geek replied, This is what happens when you work with a little girl LMO. Mia yo, watch this, I'm going to violate her on my life. Then a hacked Jadit Geek Instagram account has surfaced. His bio changed to an LGBT flag and a previous post questioning his liking for men deleted. Jadit Geek continued, she's still on my face, erasing it. I just logged her out? I'm exposing Mia V she wants to play on my face. Look at this. I'm single. I'm done dealing with this bit, baby. Mia V replied after a few minutes, Ninjas want to play little kids games? Who wants brothers Addy because I promise I'll be heavy? Ninjas don't want to play games for them. You little kids advice telling little bro to go down on the pipes? Period. Jadit Geek replied, Go and live. Join right now. The relationship is broken. Yeah, you're acting crazy. It's done, bro. That relationship is done, bro. Yeah, your career got to come before anything, bro. It's over, buddy. It's no over, matter what, your career, your career. I'm not staying with no good. I'm trying to bash my character. Like yeah, bro. Wait, wait, shorty, know the vibes. Shorty, know the vibes already. Shorty, know the vibes. Not That's heavy. I ain't going to lie. Those are little ass good, bro. I'm going to keep stacking my bread and keep doing what I got to do. I was taking, I was sleeping, right? My man, my son, M-Dot, nigga, woke me up. Like, yo, what the 
fuck is going on in your bro? Shorty went and posted on my page. Shorty took down all my managers. Shorty took down some of my songs. The picture with me and Bobby Smurda going. Like, bro, you really just hating on me, bro. That's what it looked nah, like, that's bro. Heavy. That's why don't, don't, I'm happy, bro. What am I doing? Yeah, that's super. Don't, give up, your, don't, don't give up your password no more either. You heard too? Because that, nigga, that's you your business, my bro. Now. Yeah, it's over, bro. yeah. So when I expose a little ass, don't act confused. Gangster, you fucking up my image. You fucking up my brand. Yeah, I ain't gonna. Wow, that's nasty work, bro. You gotta, you gotta push, you gotta push nah, your career not, over not, everything, no matter what. Niggas be mad because niggas don't got bread. That's the real reason. I know what's going on. <laughs> I ain't finna get into. For me, I ain't doing all that on this live. Nah, yeah, don't don't do that, gang. Don't. <laughs> shit, that bag me tight though, cause don't, don't do that. Certain shit that be done to me, I would never do to people, bro. Like I would never do that. I would never. I never would have thought yeah. that. Going on gram and bashing her image. Gangster. Like, so how to really think about that? You be weird, bro. And all the members, like niggas like Marky, all the members, I love y'all. I know what's up. They gonna go comment fast. Bro got hat. Come on. Yeah, man. hell yeah. That's deep, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Mia V responded to Jade it by making a video on her Instagram story, captioning it. Let's talk about Jade it Why is this nigga acting like he just left me? Like, are you nigga? Are you you fiend? Your ass off. To be with me, asking my producer, asking everybody in their moms, going online, trying to get put on to me. And you got the nerve to go online and act like you just left me? Are you fried? I just left, I just left this nigga like 20 minutes ago. And now he's dread, like you're dread, nigga. You're dr dumb dread, dumb salty. And now you want to go live to about I'm about to expose her. Expose me with what? You know that was never my body. You could barely get next to me. You me, expose me. Are you sh If I start dropping niggas addies and doing the whole nine, niggas gonna be tight. Niggas gonna go on the internet and put on the whole show. When you know the real, then nigga going live talk about, oh, shorty, a little girl, she really know my butt. Please suck. Stop letting niggas get into your head. That's one. Going live lying. She's a little girl. She's a little girl. So then, what are you, a pedophile? I mean, I'm a little girl. Stop playing with me, nigga. You're a little nigga. You're a little nigga. Niggas was like, where's somebody dad is getting clowned for talking to you? What do you mean, little girl? That's all I gotta say. Jada Geek responded to Mia V again, trying to bash my character and posting some fruit like. That on my face just tells me you're going to backdoor me or rat on. Delete my picture with Bobby Schmurder and. Jen is crazy. It's not a joke, that's dead evil. He then pointed out in the middle of the debate how much views his story posts were getting and said at the top you guys are heavy. Mia V is about to start fighting even more. Mia the fifth then responded. When we move on to our next topic, C Blue and YG's been beefing for a while. It all started when Shaji's posted a picture of himself with no cap showing off their new hairstyles. C. Blue felt like Shaji's copying him, so he took to social media to diss him. He posted a reaction. Video to a Daiji's song. First day out and said it was trash, and in the comments section of the post. Shaji's went and wrote, Cut your hair, brother. Enough is enough. YG's C. went live on Instagram in response to Blue's disses. They said C. Blue was hateful and his. Music was trash. They also accused him of beating up. Their boss, C. Blue and Set the Trend responded to YG's live stream with bro lying in the comments. Eegs said they're capping and they just have to be real. While all this was going on, D. Thang and the rest of YG's were enjoying their vacation in Miami. They posted photos of themselves at the beach and in the pool. Some people commented and trolled them saying they should have drained the pull after Nasty got. Inside, C. Blue also commented on one of the photos saying the comments are insane. Despite the drama, YG seemed to be having a great time in Miami. They kept posting pictures and videos of their vacation and the beef with C. Blue didn't seem to bother them. Oh, what about with that nigga? It's a G-Day week, I think. That nigga's know what's going on.
Pull them over for the guys. 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 My brother really did. He really different. He's a different breed. What am I? What am I? Dad, y'all niggas know how y'all sign these deals. Niggas suck your ass. You pow, 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 pow. I know what's going on. Damn. I'm fucking up. Sock, it's my shit. Damn. Guys, get out. Okay, get out. Get out. Sky in. Yeah, it's right. Sky in. Yeah, call with me. Damn, shit. Yo, shot, look. Look at my shit. I know y'all know how to come. Oh, damn. Oh, who with me? Are you my room? Okay. Oh, all right. Not this one, though. Yeah. We have shot. Oh, look for my room. I see. From in my room, we come outside. To the members. Members. To the members. Members. What am I, daddy? Can't fuck with us, man. I can't believe I already made it, man. I really made it, man. What am I? From the room straight to the fucking. Oh my god. Shh. That's bullshit. I told you. Where they had cockroaches running around on the floor. I just came from where they had cockroaches. Now I'm playing beer bags by myself. Yeah, nasty. What am I, monkey? Eight oh eight oh. Eight oh eight oh. Come get it back. Eight oh eight oh. So, guys, this video was just for now. What you think about this situation? Write me in the comments section if you like this content like this video, and also subscribe to break that. Don't forget to turn on your reminder sign to receive content like this and more as it is. Uploaded. Until next. Time.